Close your eyes and watch your breath. Gather your mind around the breath. We focus on the breath because it's very close to the mind. In fact, it's the closest thing there is to your awareness. Not because it has intrinsic interest, but it is a good place to settle the mind so the mind can get to know itself. It's like a mirror for the mind. If the breath is calm, it's a sign that there's at least something in the mind that's calm. If it's worked up, well, there's something worked up. And having the mind so close to itself like this, having its focus so close, makes it a lot easier to see when things come up in the mind and they're still weak. Little thoughts, little emotions. And you're in a better position to say yes or no, with knowledge. Our problem is things come up in the mind and they grow, and then we don't know what hit us. It's like in the old days before they had satellites, and our knowledge of what was going to come off the ocean in terms of the weather was very, very meager. A storm could suddenly come up and you had no idea where it came from. Now we have sensors out that can sense these things. Even then there are some surprises, like the most recent hurricane. But still, at least we have some warning. And it's the same way as you get to know the breath and you get to the mind really close to the breath. Little things come up and you can sense them. These are your warning sensors that something's coming up. And you can deal with it right away. It's a lot easier to deal with these things when they're small than when they're large. When they're large, they take hold, and sometimes they've already done damage before you can get some control over them. So you want to get some control over them before they do you damage. Things like greed, aversion, delusion, grief, jealousy, fear. These things can do a lot of damage to the mind because they make you do and say and think things that you later regret. So you want to have some early warning system so you know when they're coming. And not just know when they're coming, but also be able to fend them off when they're still small. Whatever comes up in the mind, always try to breathe calmly. And that gives you at least a toehold in the present moment where the, the emotion hasn't taken over. And from there you can strengthen it into a foothold, and then you can get your whole army standing on the calm breath to fend off whatever unskillful thoughts and unskillful emotions may come up in the mind. So being with the breath puts you in a really good place. It's your stronghold. So make sure that you make this your default mode. This is where you want to stay, regardless, as you go through the day. So if any surprises do come up, you're not too surprised, and you're not caught off guard. You're ready, you're prepared. You're in the right place. So stay right here as much as you can. <laughs>